In this video, we'll learn how to use the YouTube end screen editor to add video links and a subscribe button to the end of your video. So I'm going to go to Creator Studio so I can get to one of my videos to select edit. So I'm just going to go ahead and select edit on any one of these videos. And then I'm going to go up top and select end screen and annotations right here in between audio and cards. So once we've done that, YouTube by default is going to select the last 20 seconds of our video, but I'll show you how you can change that in just a moment. So go ahead and select the blue add element button here, and then I'm going to select video or playlist. Then select create, and we can do our most recent upload, the best video for our viewer, or choose a video or playlist. So I would recommend to do the best video for your viewer by uh, default or the, at least for the first video that you add if you if you're gonna add multiple uh, because this is going to select videos based on what your subscriber or viewer has watched recently and in the past so once you've added the best for viewer video the next thing that you can add is another video subscribe button channel or link so I'm going to select the subscribe button here and I'm just going to put that in the middle. And then I'm going to add another video. So this time, instead of doing the best for viewer, I'm going to select the most recent. And then I'll just drag this down here and resize it a little bit. So we can also use templates that they have for us to select from. So if you select use template, it's going to give us a number of different layouts that we can use. So we have just a single video and then a subscribe link. And then if you scroll down, you'll see a subscribe, a link to a website, a video, and then multiple videos here. So I like the one with the two videos and the subscribe in the middle here. So I'll go ahead and select that. I'm not sure if I'll actually use that for this video or not, but I like that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And then I'll select replace. And there we have it laid out nicely for us. So now you just wanna go up and select most recent and the best for viewer again, if you want it to display uh, similar to how we had it before we selected the template. So I'll go ahead and select save again. And then let me show you how you can edit the length of the, the, um, the links at the bottom here. So if you just select this and drag it over, you can edit the length of these links for the end screen. So ideally you'll want to have sort of an image in your actual video that goes with the end screen links or just have a black screen like I'm gonna have in just a moment on this video when you see it so we can go ahead and preview it here and then go ahead and save it okay so that does it stay tuned to see my end screen annotation and thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video